fundamentally misunderstands the nature of those problems. We've seen a side proposition that wants to undermine our democracy in order to solve a problem that doesn't really exist. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, we tell you that on our side of the house, we stand for democracy. We stand for the principles that Canada was founded on. It's because of all of these things, and I'm so proud to continue to apply. Okay. So as your final opposition speaker on the side of the House, I'm going to be crystallizing this debate into three main questions. First, is there actually a need for this resolution? Second, what exactly is the point for the nature of the House of Commons? And third, which side of the House actually creates a better representation, a better legislature for the country? Okay, let's just get into this first idea. Is there a need for this resolution? What have we heard from side proposition? They've told you that because these workers make up a large part of our population, that they have a right to be represented. Then they told you that they don't have their voices heard because they're too small. We think this point is fundamentally self-contradictory, right? Firstly, we tell you that just because they're labor unions doesn't mean that they're not part of our population, too. When you're part of our population, you have the ability to vote for who you think represents yourself the best, right? We've told you this numerous times. We think they still have our voice. Second, we've told you that if they're such a huge part of our population, again, they're going to vote for the parties that they think are necessary to represent their wants, right? But Kevin came up and told you that labor union issues are discussed at labor union forums, similar to how Aboriginal issues are discussed at Aboriginal forums. We tell you that they don't have a place in a central body that deals with the entirety of Canada. All right, let's get into the second question. What exactly is the nature of the House of Commons? We've told you a variety of things on this. We've told you that it's to discuss the policies that concern all of Canada, not just a segregated party like the labor unions that they tried to get into. We've heard no reputation for them. Right. We've heard, oh, but Anna, what are the harms of this resolution? There are no harms, so it's okay. We told you many harms that come from this. We told you how there's less representation. We told you how democracy gets undermined. We tell you that these things are significant harms that we can't let this resolution pass. Okay, let's move into this final question. Which side of the house actually gives you better representation of our country? All right, what have we heard from the side of the We told you that this brings more perspectives into our society, how this creates a catalyst of change, which is basically all the same point, saying that teachers and nurses are going to be represented better, right? We've already told you how this is a true in a number of different ways, right? We've told you how if these people are actually such a large part of our population, they're going to be represented either way. We've told you how their issues don't have a place in a central body because they're just labor unions, ladies and gentlemen, they should be dealt with in a labor union's court, right? What have we told you about our side of the house? We've told you how MPs are better to represent our people because they actually dedicate their lives to the whole well-being of their people, not just segregated part of the workers, right? We've told you that labor unions only stand for their own principles, right? We think this is the fundamental purpose of an MP. We tell you that they're a much better way to represent our people than any other segregated part, any other segregated leader would be able to do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's because we stand for a side that ultimately believes in these values and these principles. It's because we think you'd much rather live in our world where we have an accurate, a true, faithful democracy in Canada. I stand before you so proud.